So, Marley's ghosts. You're both, you both play dead people. We literally are Marley's ghosts. Yeah, so we are, we are two of them. We're two, yeah, two thirds. So what can you tell us about the show? Well, uh, we we meet the character of Marley, played by Sarah Alexander, and she is a successful, if highly strung, uh, she a solicitor. She's, She's a magistrate. In law. She's a magistrate, there you go. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, in the space of a week, probably, yeah. she loses her, her husband, her lover, okay, and the local vicar down the road. Which isn't a huge loss to her, actually, but she does end up in the house as well, and they all end up living with her in spirit. Uh, that's the premise. And kind of annoying her, she can't get rid of them. Not everyone else can see them, you see. She's the only one who can see dead she people. Can, see dead can they people. see? Can they see each other? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Which is nice. Isn't yeah, it, it is. Yeah. It would be They'd be really... very quiet. Wouldn't <laughs> it? No one would speak to each other. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be seeing a bit of a tete a tete between you and uh, John Hannah, who plays her husband. Is that That's correct? right. Yeah. Well, because because of course he didn't realise until he died that she was having an affair with me, uh, and then I died quickly after that. And so we spend most of the first two episodes arguing, sparring. bickering, sparring. It's lovely. It's like two antlers, two stags looking <laughs> antlers. <laughs> In a virtual world. Yes. And what does your character have to say about all this? Well, just anything useless really. She, she kind of um, doesn't make any sense, my character, which I love. She is staying Worst there the effectively world. because it's kind of warmer and cosier than the vicarage and she's got some friends there and they have a nice sofa and a nice telly. And apart from that, she kind of just wants to help, but she doesn't really. Is her, she's a vicar. She is, is her faith shaken a bit that she's not gone to heaven? <laughs> Hello, it's going to sleep, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I was supposed to like float through things. Uh, 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 no, Did I interrupt? <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to see you, John. John Hannah, who plays Adam. No, come, come, back, come in, come, back. come in. You're alive, you're alive. John, tell us a little bit about your character. Um, it, it, it was a stretch for me when I read it, actually. And then my wife pointed out it was exactly like uh, laying around on the sofa watching the telly. That was sort of it, really. So I just did went with that. We hear there's going to be a bit of rivalry between uh, you two. I imagine that would be the case when you find out your wife's been having an affair, you know, and then you end up in the same room with somebody. It's going to be potentially tricky. But as they as they get to know each other and they sort of uh, rub up against each other, they actually get on reasonably well, despite the constant bickering. Would you say? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just I don't like them. Oh, right, okay. You shagged, you just didn't realise. You just didn't realise. There were so many men in her team. Oh, such a trusting, <laughs> Michael, such a trusting soul. No, it's an arrogance about you, you think it would be late. That's true, it's true. <laughs> such a massive ego. Yeah, Michael, that's, that's what that I mean. Michael, yeah. Michael. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. yeah. So, uh, have any of you seen a ghost in real life at all, or do you believe in ghosts? No, I'd love to. I've been spooked before, you know, I, like, I've been in houses and gone, oh, well, this is a bit sad, something's happened here. But no. Not, not any happened. standards, though? Not any standards, <laughs> no, I, you know, I've definitely not seen any ghosts there, no. no. No, I've never seen a ghost, and I really don't believe in them. Really? No, I don't. Do you not? I mean, I've got lots of people who I know and trust and think are, you know, very clever people who have seen ghosts. And that still doesn't... But it still doesn't... Ghosts. Until I see one myself, well, I think it could be just, you know, you're having a weird dream and you haven't quite mm. woken up. Mm. I, I, I think it's important to like, experience it for yourself. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Have, you, have you seen one? I have, actually, yeah. Have and see, that's a good example. And I remember Yeah. I, I saw... I've only, it's only happened once and it was very brief. But both, I was sitting with my dad. Oh, that's right. Yes, I do remember. And we both saw my grandfather at the same time. And we were middle talking like this, and turned around, and we watched my grandfather walk across the room and sit down. And then we looked at each other and said, that was granddad, and we turned back and he was gone. That was all it was. So but do you think they both hadn't woken up properly at the same time, sitting in the same room? Yeah, it, was, it was Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> there might have been a bit of Christmas spirit out of yeah. Well, we had a mutual hallucination, yeah. So, is, are we going to be seeing a lot of comedy in the in this show? this show? It's not kind of dark. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> be pretty dark. Yeah. It's not, if it's not yeah. funny. Yeah. I think it is. I think it will be quite funny, actually. Yeah, it is funny, and yeah. obviously there are the odd, you know, dramatic moments. People are dying. A lot of people die in the first, in the first episode. Do we but, see uh, you guys die? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have some good deaths? Yeah, I have a good I one. Get yeah. run over. I I I choke on a chicken sandwich by proxy. Yeah. Yeah. Good one, I, I run him good. over. 
nice. Yeah, and I receive a small head injury, which, which turns out to be fatal. And a double bacon street down the back of you for the way. And a, and a chocolate bar, yeah. <laughs> she gags on an ass tick. <laughs> Not for the first time. <laughs> uh, if it goes well, would you like to come back for another series? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think yeah, we had such fun. The, one, the big worry, I would say, is that we had too much fun. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know that way when, you're, when you think it's great and everybody's having a laugh and then it goes out and you just tumble weed. Yeah, just but these, these kind of pilots, you know, they're really small taster. It's three episodes. It was a very short amount of time we had to do it. So it's kind of just the first step of feeling what the show could be and what it could be like. So there's definitely... Uh, an improvement to be made on the comedy, more to be found in, in everything that we've worked on as well. I mean, there's, there's, it, it was a shame actually that we had those three weeks and we'd all all the juices were flowing. Everybody's going, oh, and now, and now we can do this, we can do this. So it, it was left. I think that's great for Dan as well it? to have that, to, to see how those the characters develop. And now, and now it's all in his head for so long. Yeah. It must be bizarre. Now it? it must be so much easier when you know who you're writing yeah. for. Yeah, and get a taste of it. So yeah, yeah it would be great.